All right, so in this video what I wanted to do is uh, give you a quick run through of how the Ferro uh, Focus Premium Scanner actually operates now. Again, I'm using an iPad, you could be using an iPhone or an Android uh, device, that does not really matter, or you could just use it uh, traditionally, but I'm focusing on the uh, new stream app uh, compatibility and functionality, so let's just check that I'm actually connected to the scanner. There we go, connection is established. Fire up, fire up the stream app. I am connected to the scanner directly, which means I'm not connected to the internet, so I don't have a connection to the Sphere uh, ecosystem. That's for a, a different day again, but today I'm going directly to the actual scanner. Every time you start the stream app, it wants to inherit the project's name uh, if you're lazy and you don't give it a name, it'll be the today's date and date and time. I actually want to rename my stuff, so I'll call this, here we go, we'll call it premium. What is it? Return. All right, latitude, longitude, that's actually pretty cool. It can be embedded if you have uh, location services on, on your tablet. Uh, you can do your, your current location. I'll say allow. This is our office here in Salisbury, Maryland, but that's it. Um, once again, I kind of like to rename my scans so that I know this is what happened. All right. We have everything set the way we want. You can also choose uh, take a photo which is really cool of the environment that you're scanning so let's say we want to do this and this will be embedded in the actual uh, thumbnail of the actual project so that's pretty cool description whatever you want of course right but now that it's named what we can do is we'll choose our scanning profile uh, from the factory, the scanner comes in with four profiles loaded, accelerated, standard, extended, and object HD. Uh, for this small room over here, again, I'll just go with the accelerated 59 second scan, but I want to do color, so I'll uh, acquire color. All of these settings, again, uh, standard, traditional stuff, so nothing uh, out of the ordinary over here. Green check, so our scan will take 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, with the imagery on here and that's pretty much it there's nothing else you need to do this is where I step away and actually start scanning Now the one cool thing about uh, the new scanner is the fact that as you scan you can actually see a preview of it being generated on the stream app. So what you see uh, shown on your screen that you're connected to uh, the scanner with, in my case the iPad or whatever else you're actually utilizing it'll show you that outline of that space. So this is uh, enough information for it to utilize for the subsequent registration, which obviously with the first scan doesn't really do anything, but with the second scan you will see will immediately place your scans. Alright, here we go. So, first scan is done. We'll just move the scanner to the location. And once again, just hit the start button on the app. This is again where the powerful 
uh, user interface is uh, making sense where you can see that scan number two isn't placed yet but as soon as the scan is actually going to be finished somewhat in the right spot you will see that the stream app will pre-position the scan location based on the outline that you see here there we go so now we have two scans already somewhat aligned these this alignment is not just a horizontal alignment but also a vertical alignment so you see that uh, they are somewhat in line with each other from the side from the front and from the top over here now if you don't like the alignment this is also something that is pretty cool you can grab a scan over here unlock it by touching the little padlock button and then just move it and rotate it in place so on purpose I'll kind of go this way say I don't know where it actually goes touch it again and with an icon on the top right over here we'll try to do a alignment and because we didn't do a very good job yet it still says well that's not good enough so we'll kind of try to get it a little bit better and you see that you can kind of fix misalignments yourself in the field very quickly so this is it we'll just finish for the scan to actually or wait for the scan to get finished and uh, that's it for the video uh, I just wanted to show off the fact that you can uh, position and see your progress in the actual scan now uh, in order to inherit these the, the information that is embedded by uh, this app or what you have to do is you will have to either utilize that sphere uh, ecosystem uh, upload it to a cloud or if you're more traditional you can just pull out the SD card and uh, import into scene and uh, it'll inherit all of the uh, pre-positioned scan positions based on uh, whether you're in the actual app. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.